Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make a lightsaber in Adobe Premiere Elements 8. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to be in an organized tab. We're going to click on Get Media and I'm going to go to my files and I have made a recording of a plastic lightsaber with the subject. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to open it. I click on show all so that I can see all of my media here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down into the video one timeline. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stretch tool to show more frames on the video because I'm going to be making an adjustment on each frame with a lightning effect. So what I need to do first is play the video to get it to a point where I want to start doing the lightning effect. And right here seems like a good spot. So I'm going to use the step back just to make sure that I'm in a good position and step forward to make sure I'm in a good position also where I want to start doing the effect and this seems like a good spot so what I'm going to do is split the clip and I'm going to delete the front end off of this I'm going to go back to the beginning now that I'm back at the beginning I want to go ahead and add my effect because if I would have added it earlier then it would have actually had the effect on parts that I didn't want. So what I'm going to do now is go to the edit tab I'm going to it's already on effects so I'm going to type in on the search box lightning and it'll bring up the lightning effect so now what I want to do is drag it onto the video in video one and you see the lightning here now what I want to do is get the lightning on top of this lightsaber so the few things I have to do to make it look right and a few things that I have to do to go ahead and adjust the lightning so in order to do that I need to click on edit effects then I click on lightning and I'm going to click on the arrow to bring down the pieces of the or the different settings for lightning so what I want to do is bring segments all the way down to zero to make it one stream of lightning I want to bring amplitude all the way down to zero to make my lightning straight detail level I want to bring that all the way up and now you see that it gets a little brighter there branching I want to take that all the way down to zero And in the width, I need to move the width to a width that I think is acceptable for the lightsaber to cover up all of this lightsaber here. So I'm going to go about to the middle with that, a little bit more than the middle. Next thing I want to do, and this is up to you, this is optional really, is the lightsaber that I'm using is red. So I want it to match. So I'm going to make the inside color red. And I'm going to make the outside color red as well. So now that I have everything set up where I want it, what I want to do is when you click on the word lightning and it's black like this, you'll see these two crosshairs. So you can move these crosshairs on top of the lightsaber. Excuse me, got to click on that again because I double clicked it to match the lightsaber. Now once I have it on there, I can adjust it. So if I don't like the width, I can bring it down some. And I can click here to kind of see a preview of how it looks. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. There, like it like that. So now I have the lightning on the lightsaber how I like it. 
I'm going to click on lightning again here just to make sure that I have it exactly where I want it. Great, looks good. So now I have my lightsaber set up. So what I need to do now is I need to go forward to the next frame. And as you can see, the lightsaber has moved. So what I need to do now is I need to split the clip. I need to click on lightning and I need to move my lightning on top of the lightsaber again. Once again, preview it to make sure it looks good. I like it there. So I click step forward, split the clip, click on lightning and move the lightning where I want it again. Now, depending on how long your scene is with the lightsaber and the lightning, this could be pretty tedious. So just remember the steps here, once you get to this point are step forward, split clip, click lightning, and adjust your lightning on top of the lightsaber how you want it. Now, because this can take a while, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause where we're at, and then I'll come back to the next section where I'm gonna make some lightning come out of my subject's hand. Okay, now I've got my subject where I want to be for the second lightning to enter into the video clip. So what you need to do is you need to go to effects and you need to search for lightning. And then you just drag the lightning into the clip where you want it to start. So once the lightning is in there, all you need to do is click on edit effects click on the second lightning, click on the video clip and then click on lightning again. And you should have the crosshairs Got the wrong one in, there you go. You should have the crosshairs. So the crosshairs usually start off with the one that the lightning emanates from on the left and the lightning where it ends on the right. So what you want to do is what I did was I grabbed the lightning that was on this side and I basically moved it over here. And I also grabbed the lightning that was on the left hand side and placed it right into my hand. Now from this point, you don't need to do anything else with this lightning. You don't need to go through the frames, but what you do need to do is keep stepping forward and correcting the lightning that's on the lightsaber. And you can leave the other lightning alone during this part of the process. But once you get the clip to the point where you want this lightning to stop, and I'm just gonna move it forward to try to get it there a little bit quicker. Okay. So once you get the lightning to the point where you want this lightning to stop, which is there, I've already stopped it. You need to click on toggle the effect on and off. Once you click on that, this lightning will go off and it will stop coming out of the hand. So you just need to keep stepping through, moving the lightning. You, like I stated, you step forward, cut, click on lightning and then move this lightning crosshairs onto the lightsaber where you need it to be. After that, you're all done. You have your finished project once you get to the end. It looks great and you're ready to go. That's it. How to make a lightsaber in Adobe Premiere Elements 8. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.